Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to our global Nimble community. My name is John Ferrara. I'm the CEO of Nimble, and this is a special edition of our weekly Wednesday uh, Nimble overview walkthrough. It's a special one today because we've got a few new products that we've introduced uh, quietly over the past 30 days that we'll be telling our uh, audience at large more about as we continue to roll them out uh, through the end of this year and the beginning of next year. And essentially, <clears throat> what those products do is enable you to connect at scale better, smarter, faster. I really believe that today, the operating system of your business are the uh, contacts that you're connecting to, the conversations you're having in email and social, and the activities that you're driving from those conversations. But the problem is, is that if you're a business today, the first thing you need to do is to set up a website. The next thing you need to do is to uh, get email and calendar in the cloud. And your choice is Office 365 or Google Apps for G Suite. Those are essentially the key tools that you'll be using to be able to share uh, contacts, conversations, and activities with your team. And the problem is, is that today, Office 365, Google Apps for Work, G Suite, or Gmail aren't really great contact managers, which means that you don't have a contact record that has the history of interactions that you and the team have had on email, calendar, and ideally social and you don't have the ability to share these contacts across your entire team effectively. That's one of the unique things that Nimble does by unifying all of these contacts, mapping the identity of the people, bringing the data down about who they are, where they're from, where they work, what they're influential in, and the history of conversations. So many of you who are familiar with Nimble know that we've been doing this for quite some time, but what's new in our new uh, plans that we're rolling out is the fact that now we're not only able to unify your Gmail, G Suite, Office 365, email, contacts, and calendar, but we could also unify the key business apps that you have in your business across more than um, uh, 40 different business apps that you have. And today, you just don't live in your email anymore. You need to use some type of business app in order to drive leads convert those leads and drive those into a measurable business outcome. And so most businesses have some type of market automation system in order to take a lead and nurture it till it's lead qualified. And for many of our customers, they're using things like MailChimp for that. And so when you put a lead into MailChimp, what do you know about that lead? Basically, whatever that person typed in when they filled out the form. But what you need to do is you need to convert this prospect, this eyeball, into a qualified lead so you can then put it inside of your CRM. And so many of you listening to this today are using Nimble, but there's literally a, a million, no, there's not a million, there's thousands of CRMs out there. But the thing is, is that most CRMs are essentially dead databases that you have to beat your salespeople to type data in. And you know what? They don't. Because we're all human. We're not good at data entry. And even if they were to type the data in, the data would decay so rapidly over time that the data would become unusable. The two key reasons of failure of CRM is lack of use because you work for the CRM and you have to go to it to use it and bad data. And so that's what Nimble solves by not only providing a CRM, but also providing the sales intelligence you need in order to engage <clears throat> effectively with a prospect. And so when you put a lead into Nimble, instead of you having to Google that person to know who they are, Nimble will automatically build that record for you, including information on the company as well. But the thing is, is once you have that intelligence, then what you need is you need some tool to be able to outreach to that person because market automation isn't really a good thing to use to outreach in a one-to-one -one conversation because your emails end up looking like this. And so this is an email that was sent to me from market automation system. And literally, I throw these emails away because they're not one-to-one, -one, authentic, relevant, and personal. When you send an email to somebody, what you want to be able to do is send it from your email to their email, as well as to get the details on the open click reply and non-reply. And that's what Nimble has evolved into, into a social sales and marketing system that works for and with your business and your entire team, giving you what's missing, I think, in Office 365 and Gmail G Suite, is that unified contact record. 
But the cool thing is now not only do we unify Gmail, G Suite, iCloud, email, contact, and calendar, but we will synchronize in your existing social sales and marketing applications, which means that Nimble can either be your social sales and marketing application or work within your existing social sales and marketing application. So let me show you how this works. So when you go into Nimble now, what you do is you go into the settings and under the settings, you'll see this uh, place where you could uh, enable uh, integrations with Nimble. And once you enable those integrations, what you're able to do is you're able to then integrate in third party applications to bi-directionally synchronize in an intelligent way the data that you want from the disparate applications that you have in your business. Because I really believe that today there is islands in your company. There's walls between departments, between sales, marketing, customer service, accounting, and social media. And with this new integration, what you're able to do is you're able to map applications into Nimble and even use Nimble within existing applications that you're using in your business, including your existing CRM. So we don't care if you use Nimble as your social sales and marketing system or to add value to your existing social sales and marketing systems because as I said, the biggest cause of failure of CRM is salespeople just hate them. They don't want to do the work and actually they shouldn't. They should be able to use a tool like Nimble that will automatically go and build records on people and companies everywhere and that's what Nimble does so wonderfully with our Prospector app. And so if you're using Nimble today, hopefully you plugged in our uh, browser app and what you're able to do is you're able to get information on people and companies by just simply clicking on this button and being able to go and build records on people and companies wherever you are. But the cool thing is, is now what Nimble will do is Nimble will go and build records not only on people and company everywhere, but with our Nimble Prospector app, it will actually give you the contact info that you need in order to be able to connect with those people. So here is Michelle Bottomley, and uh, and Michelle might be somebody that you might want to connect with. And what you're able to do with Nimble is all you need to do is tell it the uh, the company name, the first name and last name, and Nimble will prospect their email, their phone number, their address, all the key things that you need to do to put that in as a lead. And then once you do put that in as a lead, that goes into Nimble, but with our new bi-directional synchronization, you can determine if that lead will also go into the existing CRM that's in your business. And so we're super excited about the ability to unify contacts from all the different places that you might have them, from your market automation system, from your existing uh, accounting system, because I really believe that there's a gold mine in your accounting system. You sold those people, they trust you, they like you. You can go back to those leads in order to get retention, additional sales and referrals from them. And with Nimble, with one of the things that was shown to me the other day, this was sort of a, a trick that, um, that somebody showed me. You can go in and add a new connection into Nimble and so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this on the fly. Uh, hopefully this works for me simply because I don't know if it'll automatically log me into my QuickBooks. But uh, once you add Nimble, then what you can do is you can go ahead and find um, the accounting program. And uh, there it is, QuickBooks. And so now what happens is I'll go ahead and choose the account I wanna sync to. And I'll go ahead and authorize QuickBooks let's see how uh this works okay great um i love how easy that was okay so now i've connected nimble and quickbooks and one of the cool things that you can do with this is you can do it via logic so i could say if the connections in quickbooks i want to add a filter and the condition is um uh has a past due balance and so what you can do is you can go ahead and do that. And now what happens is when this contact uh, goes into um, uh, QuickBooks and they have a pass due contact or invoice, that contact will automatically be put into Nimble and that contact will be tagged in Nimble 
So you could use Nimble to outreach to potentially collect more money, or you could use it to find the contacts that you've done the most business with that year. And so we're super excited about the ability to, uh, to connect Nimble to your existing business applications. And the way that this works is you just go into Nimble and you go into the settings and you go ahead and do the integrations, you enable this, and for the first two weeks, you have unlimited synchronization, which means you can unify all the contacts from all the disparate places there are in your business, in your email, in your contacts, inside of your social sales, marketing, customer service, and accounting applications. And then after the end of the two weeks, each of the team members can synchronize up to 2,000 contacts a month, which means you could use it to put new contacts from your MailChimp or your accounting or new leads from your CRM to put them into Nimble for your sales reps to begin to use. Because interestingly enough, one of the number one integrations that uh, Pysync customers use Nimble for is uh, Google, then MailChimp, and then HubSpot and Salesforce. Now, why would they use Nimble with HubSpot and Salesforce. So let's go ahead and take a look at what HubSpot is. HubSpot is a, is a simple program that enables you to, they have a free version that enables you to capture leads from your website, put them in a database and do some simple list nurture, not indifferent than MailChimp, which many customers use. But the problem is, is that when you go into these programs here and, uh, and use Nimble, or if you're not using Nimble, you won't get the great information that Nimble provides for you by enriching that email into a rich and rich record that gives you all the details of that person's background, et cetera. And so what you can do now with our PySync integration is you can integrate it into all the business apps that you have in your business, create a team relationship platform that everybody in the company can share a contact and then go back and use those contacts inside of any of the business apps you're using this happens to be our customer service and uh, marketing application we use at nimble but this literally will work across all the applications that you're using in your business so that means no matter who's in the company they can get the context and insights they need on the contacts that they're connecting to including the history of interactions that you and the team have had on email calendar and social and I really believe that one of the biggest causes of failure in business is lack of working as a team. And that's because in your business, you have all these disparate business applications where they don't talk to each other and your teams don't talk to each other. So if you're in sales, you can't see there's a past due accounting, or if you're in accounting, you can't see that there's a prospective sale going on, or if you're in customer service, the same thing. And so with the new bi-directional synchronization, you now have the ability to use Nimble as your team's relationship platform so everybody in the company can be part of the process with your prospects and customers and i really believe that everybody in your company is in sales is in support is in marketing and they should work as a team to do that so that's one of the things we wanted to announce today and i also want to uh, let you know that michaela's in the background to be able to ask quite answer questions from any of you regarding any of the things i'm talking about today and so feel free to talk to Michaela and ask those questions in the background. I'll do my best to answer those questions in the foreground here with the audience at large. The other thing that I wanted to talk about today is a new version of Nimble called Nimble, Pro Nimble Contact. Now Nimble Contact is a contact management platform for your team and it's really designed for people that might already have a social sales or marketing system like an existing CRM and they, they really love the benefits that Nimble provides for relationship management, but they don't necessarily need it for the CRM aspects, for the deals, et cetera. And so you can go ahead and check this out here where if you have an existing CRM and you want to use Nimble to prospect, just like I did with Molly here, where I was able to build this rich, beautiful record for Molly, prospect her email, phone number and contact info, and use it to reach out to build a connection. Um, definitely check out the Nimble Contact plan. It is $9 a month on an annual basis, $12 a month on a uh, monthly basis. And you could learn more about that by simply uh, going to our website and checking out our pricing page where you can go ahead and learn the differences between the various plans. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is our new Nimble Prospector. 
And so I showed that briefly to you, but I want to show you a use case that I used it recently where I worked with um, uh, uh, a new uh, prospect that, uh, that I met on Twitter. I really believe that if you're in business today, you need to be building your brand and you're growing your network in order to become the trusted advisor of not only your prospect and customers, but also their influencers as well. And so with Nimble, um, in order to build the Nimble brand and to build my brand, I began to identify the influencers of our core prospects and customers in and around the areas of promise of our products, which means thought leaders in sales, marketing, customer service, social media, social selling. And I began to share their content. So as an example, Alice Hyman, uh, now a dear friend of mine over the past five years, uh, her father wrote the book on strategic selling, uh, named strategic selling. I recommend that you read that. It was one of my inspirations for building my previous startup, Goldmine. And in order to build a relationship with Alice, what I did is I began to walk in her digital footprint and I began to add value to uh, her by sharing the wonderful content that she creates. So Alice uh, creates amazing content on a regular basis. And what I did is I began to share not only Alice's content, but all of the content from people that inspire and educate me about how I might become better, smarter, faster at social sales and marketing. And so if you go and look through my stream, you're actually gonna see some personal posts because I really believe that people connect on the five Fs of life, family, friend, food, fun, and fellowship. But you'll also see that I share content to educate and inspire other people and, uh, and I get that content from these friends of mine. And what I do is I hashtag those co that content with their name. And then I, um, I, um, I attribute it appropriately. So here's an example where I was sharing uh, Kurt Shaver's post from Bryn Tillman. Now, both Kurt and Bryn are really great thought leaders in social sales and marketing. I recommend that you connect with them but what I do is identify these influencers, I hashtag it with the appropriate category, I attribute their name, and then I share it on my identity, which creates people to begin to plus one like, comment, retweet, and otherwise engage with me, which essentially uh, is like dripping a, a digital fishing lure outside of your window. And what that does is that will then reel these people in uh, into your stream and what you need to do is you need to identify which of these people that you might want to connect with in order to build a relationship. So these notifications become really key to these bites of people that are connecting with you and these people will help you achieve your passion, plan and purpose in life. You need to build a, a sustainable garden around your business and around yourself in order for you to achieve your goals in life. And so what I do is I share this content and what happened was there was a person that began to uh, talk about me because he found out about me by essentially seeing my conversations in the social river. This guy's name was Theo. Now, a week or two ago, Theo uh, mentioned Nimble and myself. And he essentially said um, to a Salesforce um, executive who tweeted that CRM isn't about command and control, it's about relationships. And he basically said BS. He said, Salesforce is really about command and control and when are salespeople going to loosen the grip on salespeople and empower them to be effective at engagement? And isn't this what John Ferrara and Nimble has been building and teaching for the past five years? Now, when Theo said that, it got my attention because of who he said it to and the, and the uh, intensity of the conversation. So I then commented here in Twitter, and then I used Nimble to uh, build a record on Theo, where Nimble then gave me his phone number and his title, his address, and his email, where I learned that he is the uh, Salesforce administrator and head of CRM and data at, at Disney. Now, that's interesting to me that this guy is talking about Nimble, because ultimately Nimble's future is either being your social sales and marketing system for individuals and teams of two to 25, or adding value to existing social sales, marketing, customer service, and accounting applications in your business. And I'd love to be doing business with Disney. So what I did is I commented on the Twitter stream, and then I reached out on email 
because he gave me permission to connect with him by the way he was talking about me. And that conversation shifted from a Twitter conversation to an email conversation to a LinkedIn messaging conversation. And so that's the way that conversations happen today. They're messy. They happen across multiple different channels almost simultaneously. And today's CRMs aren't designed to do that. They're basically designed for you to go to it and use it. And then you basically have to go back and log what you know and did after you do it, wherever you do it. And so I shifted my conversation to LinkedIn, which Nimble then followed me to that place. And in the conversation with LinkedIn, I in LinkedIn messaging, I learned that not only do does he live in my city, Santa Monica, but our daughters go to the same school. So I invited him for breakfast two days later we had an amazing conversation that resulted in Nimble now being used within Disney, within some of the projects that he's working on. And none of that would have been possible had I not been able to fish this conversation out of the river, get the insights on who they are, their contact info, reach out in a relevant and authentic way, follow that conversation as it traveled from Twitter to email, to LinkedIn, to a calendar, to an appointment. And now, Theo is uh, on an ongoing basis uh, participating in my digital footprint and adding value to my conversation. And this is what you need to be doing on an individual basis or on a team company basis. But today, I think that the tools that you use are just um, not designed for that because today you have disparate marketing automation systems, CRM systems. Sales intelligence, if you have it, most people don't have sales intelligence because they can't afford to buy uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, Raintree, Discover Org. By the way, Nimble is number one in satisfaction in sales intelligence and sales enablement email tracking. If you were to buy all of those different programs, marketing, sales, sales intelligence, CRM, email tracking, it costs you three to $500 per rep per month and they wouldn't really talk to each other and most salespeople couldn't even manage the use of them. And that's why we have introduced Nimble Prospector. And if you want to learn more about Nimble Prospector, you just click here under the Nimble Prospector uh, drop down. And in here, you'll be able to see how and where Nimble works. Now, they haven't put the videos for Nimble Prospector here yet. So I'm going to direct you to our blog post. If you just type in Nimble Space Prospector Space, space Blog, you'll be able to see the videos that um, that we have. And Michaela, if you can go ahead and uh, put the link into uh, the webinar um, chat box so people can see that. Now, Nimble comes with uh, credits per month automatically. That's 25 lookups that you get per month. And you can buy additional lookups for your team in buckets of 50, 200, 500, and 1,000. I wanted to show you a little bit more about how you prospect names Nimble can literally prospect names from anywhere. So you could even do it on a business article. So here I am looking at um, uh, Matthew Herper. And if I wanted to get a hold of Matthew, I would be able to uh, nimble him. And Nimble will take that, uh, that name and automatically create a, uh, a record out of it. And that's out of a string, which is pretty remarkable. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, is I'm waiting for Nimble to go ahead and paint it. Let's just go ahead and pick on a new person. Uh, so here's Carolyn Howard. She's already in Nimble. So I'm going to find somebody that's not in Nimble already. So Jason Compton, okay? So what's happening now is Jason's record is being, uh, is, is essentially being put into Nimble and Nimble's looking it up based on the string, which I find remarkable because you, you, it's hard to sort of turn a string into an actual name. But once I am able to uh, put that in there, then Nimble will go ahead and build his record, in which case I could then go ahead and say, you know, who he is working for. And Nimble will then go ahead and populate uh, that information uh, with inside of the platform that easily. So Nimble can be used inside of a article like Forbes. It could be used in LinkedIn, like I showed you before. One of the places I love to use it is to go and find uh, contacts 
in different uh, places to um, to uh, prospect. And so if I wanted to get a hold of um, somebody and I'm prospecting startups that are a certain size, et cetera, Nimble would enable you to do that uh, literally anywhere. And here is an example of me doing it inside of uh, a website called um, Crunchbase. And so if I wanted to get a hold of Genie right now, Nimble would be enable me to go ahead and populate the contact info in literally uh, seconds, as long as I give it the first name, last name, and domain name or company name. So I have to tell it, yep, it's IBM.com. And then essentially, I'd be able to go ahead and get that contact info. And so this isn't necessarily a license to go and just blindly email or call people up if you don't have a purpose to do so. And so for me, if I'm going to get a hold of somebody like this person, uh, Peter, uh, what I would do is before reaching out to him, I might walk in his digital footprint. I might add value to his conversation. So if I do reach out, it's a warm call rather than a cold call. And then what I would do is when I do reach out, I have a reason to reach out because I look at his background. Nimble would give me his background on who he is and what his business is about and what we might share in common. And then when I do reach out, I reach out for with a reason uh, of why I'm connecting and how I might add value to, to him. Because you're not on this planet to bag and tag as many people as you can in order to make as much money as you can. I really believe that we're on this planet to grow our souls and help other people grow theirs. And we do that by helping other people grow. So service is the new sales. And if you enter into every business opportunity with the intent to learn as much as you can about that person so that you might add value to them, I think that you could build a gold mine and that's exactly how we built gold mine and we are building nimble today. And so that's nimble prospector. You could use nimble prospector literally anywhere as you're working inside of all the places that you are. And, uh, and that includes inside of Facebook, which I find is one of the more powerful business tools that I use today. If you're not using Facebook for, uh, for building relationships, and for business today, I think you're missing out on a, on a huge opportunity. And, uh, and then the other thing that I wanna talk about is um, the Nimble Contact Platform. And so if you wanna learn more about the Nimble Contact Platform, you could go ahead and just go to our website where we will have uh, new information on the uh, Nimble Contact Plan uh, up there shortly. But for now, uh, while we're still rolling it out, you can go ahead and learn more about it by going to our um, our customer uh, care uh, page, and we'll go ahead and put this inside of the um, the the uh, go to meeting uh, control panel as well. But in here, you could learn about what is the Nimble Contact Plan, what are the key features, what's missing from our business plan, who is it targeting, and what's the value of it. And I think that the value of Nimble's contact plan is it gives you the key relationship tools that people love about Nimble. What you're missing from the Nimble contact plan is deals, is reports, is group messaging, and our ability to track and manage the social signals. The key things you get are contacts, your unified messaging, the ability to manage activities, as well as the today page, and the ability to send and receive uh, templated uh, email messages within the application. And so the, uh, the thing I'm most excited about today is the fact that Nimble has evolved into a social sales and marketing platform that enables you to unify your disparate uh, business uh, applications that you may already have in your business to intelligently synchronize it into your into your nimble platform as a centralized uh, tool and in here you could see that i'm using it to synchronize in accounting um, uh, office 365 google and when you do that setup you can intelligently synchronize these contacts from uh, a variety of sources which enables you to unify and intelligently synchronize contacts from things like uh, accounting email, et cetera. 
And so uh, in closing, I'd like to ask you to go ahead and sign up and try the Prospector application. Uh, when you do uh, set yourself up into Nimble, make sure that you are uh, using and trying out our new integration with PySync. Again, you could learn more about that by just clicking the question mark. And in here, you'll go ahead and get all the details of what's included in the plan. Again, you get uh, over 50 different business applications that you could bidirectionally synchronize, unlimited contacts for the first two weeks. After that, it's up to 2,000 per user on your Nimble account per month, which would enable you to use Nimble to centralize intelligently the key contacts that you have in your business, including custom fields. So you can map custom fields into Nimble. And, uh, and then once you do map those custom fields into Nimble, you could use Nimble to uh, view those contacts and any contact that you add outside of Nimble or outside of your uh, other business apps, you, they will then intelligently synchronize back into uh, Nimble. And so I'd like to just see if there's any questions that uh, the audience has before we wrap up. And, uh, and while we do that, I'd like to encourage you to connect with our uh, support team. We now have the ability from within Nimble for you to ask questions uh, and to schedule um, uh, calls with our team. So you could ask questions right here within the app. And if you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one conversation with our team, you can go ahead and do that and learn more information and we could help you grow with Nimble. The other thing is we have uh, weekly webinars on Wednesday where we normally cover all the key aspects of Nimble, but then we also have uh, um, a daily webinars uh, as well. And so you could feel free to sign up for those. And it looks like uh, there's um, one question here. Uh, does Nimble synchronize with PySync to iCloud? Yes. So Nimble uh, will synchronize uh, within its connections uh, to uh, all of these different applications here. Let me just show you. So it includes Office 365, iCloud, Google Contacts, and, uh, and then all of these different um, sales, marketing, customer service, and accounting applications, which means that Nimble can help you be better, smarter, faster, to enable you to free up the contacts in your CRM if you're forced to use one of these types of CRMs and be able to use those contacts and leads everywhere you're working. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, intro to Nimble Prospector, Nimble Contact, and our new integration with Nimble PySync. And uh, please reach out to me and let me know how we can help you become better, smarter, faster. My contact info is John, uh, underscore Ferrara on Twitter. And I'd love to have you connect with me on LinkedIn or Twitter and let me know how we can help you grow. Thank you so much. Good luck and good selling.